headline tomorrow after the weekend? Don't tell mama they all voted for Obama. <laughs> Very <laughs> succinct. When you are for somebody and then you then say they're probably getting out, mm -hmm. are you sending a message or what's happening? Well, you are sending a message. It's not clear if that's a message that Mitt Romney wanted broadcast <laughs> as he was speaking he to his supporters. He broadcast it right about here. He certainly did. I have no idea what the conversations are between Bill Crystal and Mitt Romney. But once somebody who is as supportive of Mitt Romney as Bill Crystal has been starts to raise those types of flags, it's a white flag, it's not looking great for Romney. You know, he, he says he's still in it. He'll, he'll be the one to decide and make the call. But Lots of the news. Lots Patricia Murphy of Citizen Jane Politics joins us to talk about about women voters. She what, what do you think about it all? Well, I think, honestly, the last thing that the Democrats need right now is another candidate. The problem that they have right now is they have two very strong candidates, and the party cannot unite behind them. Al Gore, I honestly don't think he, he is not a great candidate. He knows he's not a great candidate. He said he is not in love with politics anymore, even if he ever was. I really don't see this happening. But I do think, you know, we've got four more weeks till Pennsylvania. There's not much else to talk about right now. Joe Klein may have emptied out his, his notebook already, and this is just something to throw out there. Um, but I don't really think it's going to happen. Yeah, Patricia, the longer this goes on the Democratic side, do you think it's the, the better for Republicans? I do, absolutely, but for a couple of reasons, mostly because of financing. Every dollar that these Democrats are raising, they are spending just as soon as they get it. They have to be up on the air with ads. They have to be in the state after state after state spending the money as fast as they raise it. That's such good news for the Republicans. It's just a window of opportunity they weren't counting on in the first place. And also, they are able to see which of these attacks are really getting traction on Barack Obama if he ends up going all the way. Now they know where was Hillary Clinton able to chip away at his support, and they can use that in the general. And but you really have to give Barack Obama credit for going after women. He did not make the assumption that women would not vote for him just because Hillary Clinton's in the race. So he runs ads with, with messages designed specifically to appeal to women, kind of a more conciliatory, nonpartisan message. He also has phone banks of women volunteers who get a list of 20 names of other women in Texas and Ohio to call them and kind of speak on a woman-to-woman -woman basis mm -hmm. about why they're supporting Obama. Instead of Clinton, he's gone after women very aggressively, and it's paid off for him. Republican would never want to do anything to manipulate a situation to win an election. <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> Listen, I think all politicians agree that the rules are the rules until they're not the rules anymore. Right. And politicians like to win. The Clintons, anybody who counts them out is making a mistake because when Bill Clinton was told by everybody in his party, probably everybody in his family, you need to resign the presidency, he didn't do it. He left office with a 65% approval rating. Right. So he kind of has the proof is in the pudding for, for them. You know, I, I would be very surprised if she were to lose these two states or these four states and then then can continue to push Michigan and Florida right. and the superdelegates. I, I can't right. imagine it going that far. Yeah, I think that she'd do it. Would be an it, odd thing to do. And, and she'd do it for a tiebreaker. Yeah. She'd uh, do it to break the tie. Exactly.